Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green, and joining me is Harshita Hole. Hey, Harshita, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thanks for coming on the show. Harshita, of course, is a uh, member of the Visual Studio team, has been on the program multiple times. And we are here today to talk about something very, very exciting Copilot Profiler Agent. Yes. We just released the Copilot Profiler Agent in Visual Studio 2026 Insider yesterday and super excited to talk about it. Obviously, it has something to do with profiling and something to do with Copilot, but what is, what is it? In a nutshell, it's a very simple thing. We just want to make sure that everyone, you, me, can actually do profiling. We don't have to be an expert. And that's what the profiler agent will do. So it's an AI integrated, I would call, I call it as a performance partner. So all you have to do is go in your Copilot chat and ask why my application is slow or just ask any specific question if you have a specific area which is slow. You may actually uh, invoke the profiler agent by specifically saying add the right profiler. Sometimes you don't want to do that. That's fine too. You just go and ask any question related to performance, even any questions related to your memory usage analysis as well. So the agent can actually help you analyze your CPU usage as well as memory usage. So today I can go into the profiler and have it look at an application and it gives me all kinds of information like you spent this percentage of time in this call and these files and it kind of hints that there's a performance issue and then kind of leaves me on my own to figure out what to do about it, right? Kind of, yes. Kind and of. It some point, uh, you do have some co-pilot integration there as well. But I think with Agent, what it does is it just do all these steps in a guided loop. And the best part, it actually also evaluates right in there in the chat. So I can show a quick demo with, to see how it yeah. works. And maybe we can okay. as well. I just recorded this demo a couple of days ago. And in this particular demo, actually, I'm using, so as I mentioned, Copilot actually evaluates right there inside your Visual Studio. And to evaluate that, it uses benchmark. So for this particular demo, I'm using a project which already had a benchmark. And what I was doing here is I just invoke a profiler agent and asked the profiler agent, let me pause it here so you guys can see, that to run this benchmark, a particular benchmark, and just optimize the code it calls for. And that's all. And then the agent takes care for everything after that. It will give me a plan, a step-by-step -step plan, what it will do. So it will it will say, I'm going to run my ben your benchmark and then identify the opportunities to optimize and then propose uh, changes to do that. And then it's going to rerun the benchmark to see if we actually really optimize the code or not. So as, a, as I said, at the start, you just need to tell what to look for or what you're trying to optimize. And then agent takes care of that in this guided loop. Um, this is a real time demo. So this is how much time I actually took to optimize this particular code. So it's going to take a couple of seconds to read the benchmark and get all the information related to that benchmark. Um, I think this is the only step that normally takes pretty, uh, like a little bit much time than the other steps. Okay. Uh, as it's running, I also want to mention as in this particular demo, I'm actually using a project which actually has a benchmark. If you don't have the benchmark suit in your, uh, let me pause here. If you don't have the benchmark suit in your project, the whole process might take a little bit longer as the agent will go, make sure that it adds the benchmark suit, make sure it also creates the benchmark for you, mm -hmm. and then it will follow all the steps which we will see in this demo now. As soon as the benchmark is run, you will also notice on the left side here, it also runs the CPU usage tool, which is, this is a normal summary page you get. And in the chat here, you will see it's telling you how much time it took. And it's also telling you what are the opportunities it can actually optimize and ask me if I want to do optimization. I just said yes. And then again, it when it's on own and uh, try to find all the code where he can optimize as specified before. And that's it. I think it will change, make the changes um, in there. In the demo, I haven't showed that. I go and verify the changes, but it's an AI. So you all should always go and verify your changes if you want to. Right. And 
then it will, once the changes are made, it will build a solution, run the benchmark again, and will show us the results. So just a couple of seconds here. So it's again running that benchmark again, where which was run before. And I think at the start, we saw it was something around 163 milliseconds when the benchmark runs before making any changes. Um, now let's see how much time we get. All right, so now it's running the benchmark again, and it will it's running pull the again, it's making all the optimization changes. But you did it on so own. Couple more seconds, and it will run the CPU usage tool again to show you if there are any uh, changes, and you'll see the mean now is eighty-four, which is almost like doubling the performance. Wow. Uh, I also want to mention this is AI, so the results you see could be different, right? Like it's it's not that you will get the same result every time or uh, you will get the same result. Like if Robert is running the same application with the agent, it's possible that he may not get the same result as I. It depends on your machine. It depends on AI. It depends on the context. But the agent always try to provide you the optimized solutions. So I understand how Copilot works when I ask it, help me write some code, right? I need a class that does this. I need a UI that does that. And it can go out and look at all the repositories and see who's done similar things. How the heck does it know how to optimize code? <laughs> how does it know, reading all the repositories out there, what code is optimized in the first place? So uh yeah. He runs the CPU usage tool and it actually finds so we use our existing tool set, like the CPU usage tool when it runs that. You if you run without a copilot even, right? Like when you run a CPU usage tool, you will see what are the hot parts, what are the top functions which are causing issue and which are causing your code to be slowed down. And the agent actually uses that information to find the opportunity to optimize the code. Okay. Yeah. And that's why you see that whenever you run the benchmark or whenever you run the agent, you'll also see the CPU usage optima summary page on the left side. So it shows you, okay, I did not focus on that, but it will show you like maybe when you run it for the first time, the top function, which was causing an error, is not there when you run it for the second time, like when we are evaluating it. So we use our existing tools in the profiling to feed the data to the agent and then take agent yeah. his magic plus the existing uh, summary from our existing tools to give that optimization. Similarly, this was a CPU usage tool example. It will done the same thing if you are doing, dealing with some memory usage issues. It will run the memory uh, usage tools. Cool. Now you've said on a couple of times CPU usage and memory usage. So that is what it currently supports and it will support more moving forward? Yes, right now it supports uh, if you have any CPU related issues or memory rel related issues. Um, in future, this is, this is just a start, this is a first uh, preview of the profiler agent. We are working on supporting it more. Right, so what code did you test it on to see if it was working? Sure. So I think I want to mention this, you know, when we actually had very first working MVP of this particular Asian, um, our team, specifically our lead, decided that we should not test this on any toy apps. You know, sometimes some things works great, specifically performance related things, right? Like I have a small toy app, it will work mm -hmm. fine, give me great results. We decided that we should test this on the real code or the real open source libraries. So we actually, as a team, we targeted top 100 um, uh, mostly used libraries, and we have been doing rigorous testing on that to see if the agent works with the libraries which are used by thousands and millions of users. Mm -hmm. but our, um, so we have been testing it a Quite a few libraries were successful uh, with this agent. We were able to optimize some code and find some bottlenecks. We have few PRs actually open. One is for I know for uh, CSV helper, Persia log, and log, which all those insights are purely generated only and only by this performance profiler agent. Uh, um, I bet they were pretty happy to 
to see that, right? You took their code, ran the profiler agent and said, oh, by the way, here's how we can make your code faster. I added a couple of comments from the community member uh, who maintains those uh, libraries in my recent blog about the profiler agent. We just wanted to show that, you know, it's not just that we build it, test it on our own apps, and then here is what you can go and use it. Another thing, uh, we also have been uh, dog fooding it or like asking uh, internal Microsoft Teams to dog food it. Oh, okay. So they have been using on their real applications. Again, Microsoft applications are used by millions of users. So they have been actually using it on their applications as well to test it or to dog food it and give us the feedback. We have some stories that are from them too. So we have tried, uh, tested, dock coded it. Now I think it's 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 to get the real customer feedback when the customer tries it and let us know the same thing which we have been hearing from these people. Mm -hmm. Was it terribly difficult to implement? Did it take a huge team, a huge amount of time? Was it straightforward? Uh, I think it, it does. I, I won't say I know everything about the implementation because I'm not the person who implemented that, but right. We have been working on this quite a few months. I think it's been a long time. We have been working a couple months, I would say. And to be very honest, we have been sitting on the secret for a long time too. We have been waiting to release this. Uh, recently showed a sneak peek. And I thought a sneak peek actually, a full, full session in the VS Live and received a great uh, response on that. I think it's right. been like four or five months. Half of the team from profiling is working on that. And now we have more people working on that uh, because we have a few more updates lined up for this. Okay. Did it involve making modifications to the profiler or were you able to just use the profiler as is? I think profiling tools, there were some modifications, but profiling tools were uh, already had some copilot integration. So they were not mm -hmm. many changes. So if you go today uh, and run the CPU usage tool just from the profiling tool, you will actually have Copilot insights there at already. So without an agent, you know, like if you're not using agent, just using the tool, you will have the insights there, which will give you more deeper analysis for each and every issues related to CPU analysis. Mm -hmm. Now you said uh, that it is AI. So if you tried it a couple of times, you might get different answers, would you expect to get wildly different answers or just somewhat different answers? Wildly different answers, but I think specifically profiling sometimes depends on a lot of things. If, if I'm, uh, so we, I, I could tell you an example, you know, I uh, was testing something and I had my, I'm getting, I was getting a very different result than what my engineer actually uh, recorded. When we tried okay. to investigate, it was that I was connected to, to my um, charging cable, like my laptop wasn't charging. That actually takes a lot of CPU too. If my Teams is on, my, my laptop computer's CPU is taking a, like it. So sometimes the performance, like if you're specifically measuring the performance, these kind of things can affect too, right? Like if I have multiple applications going on on my laptop, if I'm charging or, you know, like my, maybe my laptop is sensitive to charging, but it it does sometimes. So I think it, I won't say you get like a widely different results, but the percentage of improvements you might see is little different than what I see in this particular demo. And I think it's, 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 it's true with any AI, not just Copilot, it's any AI, right? Like when you were asking, it, it depends on the context. It depends on right. the environment too. So this is awesome. Yeah, this is awesome. As I said, we have been sitting on this for a long time and just yeah. for everyone to use it and give us a feedback and see how we can improve it more and more. Yeah, because, you know, I've, I've obviously used the profiler and seen a lot of people use the profiler, but can't say that I'm any expert in it and we'll go in and, and sometimes I'll just look and see, oh, okay, well, so now you told me in great detail that my app is slow. I kind of knew that to begin with, but... Now this gives me a jump start in actually doing something about it. Yeah, that was the idea behind bringing the profiler agent to life. I would say I think uh, I mentioned this in yesterday's recording too. But our goal for profiling team in general diagnostics is to make it as simple as possible. So specifically for the profiling, you know, sometimes profiling right. is only done by 
experts or, you know, like only with the senior engineers or principal engineers, but that's not what we want. It should be treated as a feature, not as a special thing. Um, yeah. So anyone should be able to do it, profiling, and anyone should do it, actually, because it can make the whole quality of your application much more better when the performance is better or the memory analysis is better. So yeah, and if you can if you can improve dramatically improve the pro the performance of your application in half an hour instead of yes. all day or three days, then you can either go home earlier or build new features. Right, yeah. you build new features. Yeah, uh, so I think that's why we thought this would be definitely useful for many users who know how to do profiling and even who don't know and who's trying to learn how to do profiling. That's right. useful for uh, both of them. So to play around with it, people should just download Visual Studio 2006 yeah. Insiders and yes. get I'll cracking. Download 2026 Visual Studio Insiders and start playing around it. Currently, it works with .NET. But mm -hmm. we have been, as I said, all of my team is working on this. So we are working to bring the C++ support as soon as possible. Awesome. So we'll be there as well very soon. So yeah, please, please try it and let us know your feedback. Yep. Excellent. Thanks so much for coming on and talking about this. Very, very cool. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox. Mm -hmm.